Nidisanji JP Liver Mashiro had his channel possibly removed from YouTube uh, for content violations and then recreated by Nidisanji in violation of the rules. And Millie's new outfit reveal gets really low CCVs for her and other news in this episode. Nijisanji JP's Mashiro channel has been uh, removed from p2y.jp uh, because of the ban from YouTube's tally system, from what I see, from what people are saying. He was banned from the channel in June 2022, but there seems to be a suspicion that any color has been operating his channel for almost two years, breaking the terms and conditions recreating his channel. His name was changed from Mashiro to Mashiro Meme when the channel was redesigned, but this is suspected to be an elaborate attempt to slip through the YouTube code. Before his ban, he was apparently showing ghost images and images of a blank scene uh, of the Aum Shinjikyo stuff that happened, uh, you know, and he was uh, ended by a Yakuza person, and he was showing off the images of that happening, which is... I don't know why someone would show that off. Maybe to try to be edgy. Maybe to try to be uh, one way or another, like showing. I don't know. I don't know why people would do that. I would never do something like that. But it's like some other people have weird ideas of what should be shown and what can be shown. Here's the stuff mentioning that they were, you know, the tallies were removed. Uh, in the whole entire tally, this is the entire tally of, you know, this is Hollow Live here. Over here, down here is any color. All these things he is would be, I guess, number 177 or 184. And he was removed from those tallies, the main tallies. And the VTuber subscriber information by agencies and groups. This also, apparently, he was removed from this one. Uh, the reason why people know that is that if he was in involved in this, if he was actually shown, then the lumber would be bigger. And that's pretty much where it ends for that one. And again, these are these are repeats of the same stuff. Here is the one that mentions his ban. We're going to go over everything. See, like they showed images online of that stuff on actual YouTube, which is never allowed. It never has been allowed. Even back in the day, it was not allowed. And I can't believe that someone would actually go and try to show these images. Like I said, some people try to be, uh, I don't know, edgy. They try to be like, oh my God, look, I'm showing true crime stuff. I'm doing this and that. YouTube, even in the case of news channels, they end up because of FCC regulations and things like that. The Federal Communications Commission over here in the US and other regulations that other governing bodies of other places have they could not show actual gore even if it is for a news purpose you can't show gore you have to somehow hide it you have to somehow pixelate it or something like that if you're going to show it you can say that these images are going to be still um problematic and they could still be traumatizing to people but if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but if i'm not mistaken you still have to in some way shape or form either put a warning or stop it and youtube itself is even more strict on that they don't allow it period even if you, I think, even if you pixelate it because of the fact you can get, get reported, most people don't do that. So it says here, virtual YouTuber group Nidhi Sanji, operated by any color, announced on July 5th, 2022, that the official channel of the talent Mashiro, who belongs to the same group, was suspended and a new channel was created to replace it. Now, I don't, I guess, you know, rules for thee, not for me type of thing. Um, that would be considered ban evasion because that is the... A suspension slash termination slash deletion of the original channel that is a full removal of the original channel from all of youtube and they just recreated it so that their person can continue of course corporations and those sometimes are not beholden to the same rules that we have because they have partner managers they have larger managers in youtube and youtube's actually working with them to fix issues. Uh, this could be a non-starter for YouTube because it's one of those things that's like, yeah, we talk with them. We let them start a new channel. That's fine. Again, rules for the not for me, at least that's the way it seems right now. Talent's channel has been suspended since June, but it's believed that the content posted by Mashiro in the past, such as ghost photos, was deemed to be in violation of YouTube's terms and conditions and was officially suspended. Thank you very much. Now that's Nidisanji has opened a new alternative channel for the same talent, there is a possibility that this view is valid. They wouldn't open something like that if it wasn't True that the original one was suspended is what this guy's saying. Furthermore, in the past, there have been cases where YouTube suspended an account due to violations of terms of service, and even after opening a new channel, so it is unclear whether the same talent will be able to continue its activities as normal. If there is an official suspension due to violation of terms, it is expected to be the first case among talents belonging to a major VTuber agency or group, and this case could develop into a case that questions the compliance of any color and or needy Sanji. For me, um... Uh, I guess it's not really a, a, that huge of an issue, but if it was suspended and deleted and all that kind of stuff, it seems kind of weird that it, you know, there's a rules for thee, not for me type of thing going on, on YouTube. But it also, I think it wouldn't be surprising for a lot of people to hear that. This is just a little meme post thing that was going on around there. Uh, meme was based on recent events due to what has been happening between the two companies' talents. 
Is it me, or does it feel like the cute girly vampire doesn't deserve to get her Nendoroid back per banned permanently? Accepts getting fired, victim of backstabbing, Nendoroid is cancelled. Exposed for being a lying monster and by Xmod, uh, doesn't get fired for it. Nendoroid's still up because there is no favoritism. Well, I mean, the company would be the one to pull. For example, um, in this one, Hololive is the one who pulled the Nendoroid. Hololive cover themselves. It wasn't the, the people who make the Nendoroids that were like, oh, we're not going to do this anymore. Um, the company pulled it because she's no longer a talent. They do that for every single IP because basically, basically the IP is shelved. It is hidden. It is no longer something that they're going to be making money on. They've decided that almost every company does that for an IP that is gone. They don't continue making anything from it. Down here, he's not a former IP. He's not someone who is gone. Of course, there's issues because of all the things that he's done that have come to light. But um, if the company still has him live, the company still has him as an employee, they can benefit from his IP. They're going to do it, especially a company like Nidhi Sanji that, as we know, likes the uh, the money that rolls in. If there's ever going to be money rolling in from any type of thing, anything, then yes, they're going to be doing that. They're going to be going for it. So I think this is a little bit of a bad comparison. Even after what happened, Yago was, was willing to give her a second chance and she declined it. Yago, best girl, Riku could never. Yeah, I think there was... That's what the negotiations were about with uh, Yozo Ramel. Uh, she was going to be given a second chance. She was going to be given something, and she didn't want to because favoritism is not something that she follows. Favoritism is not something that was going on. Uh, they both agreed it's best for her to move on. This was a contract violation. It would look bad on Hololive and Cover to have someone who co violated a contract in NDA, which is uh, more sacred in Japan. Uh, violating that contract would look very bad, would reflect poorly for any kind of business dealings they have in the future. Maybe they were trying to get to do something like management or something, but still, that would be that would look bad on them as a company. And of course, no one wants that. Unless it's his golden geese, e boys, they get definite infinite chances. This is my first time reading this. Do you have a source? I don't remember where. It's either from Mal's statement or that termination letter basically cover already negotiated with her, but at the time of her mental health was not great. So rather than accepting the free pass, she accepted the termination instead. It's a rat, of course, um, because I read both statements and watched her stream. This is a rat. This is, you know, assumed at this point uh, that it is a thing, but it may not be a thing. Um, it's just because of the the way in which they worded it. It seemed like they might maybe wanted to give her a chance not of being a liver again. I don't think they would ever want her to be a liver again because this is like a, a black mark that follows you. But maybe within the organization, like an Achan thing, or, you know, maybe as like a clerical or something like that. Something not directly dealing with, with uh, any kind of... Uh, media out there. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, it's a rat so far, from what I can tell. Ah, okay. They offered her a graduation shoe, but they offered her something, and they didn't even have to. You know, let's not forget the famous last words. There's no favoritism in Niji Sanji. Let's not forget the famous last phrase of Solan's termination. Negligible because it's negligible. That's all. Connections, favoritism, corruption. That's what happens in Niji Sanji. At least what these people are claiming. I really hope Vampire is supported by her fan in her PL account, which is right here. It's Rika. Rika. Uh, Rika with two, three A's channel. Rika with three A's. So follow that one if you want to see your vampire again. She's happily streaming. She, I think she did, she did a karaoke. She's done other things. She's doing well. Recently, Millie, someone who defended Nidhi Sanji a lot in the past in regards to the black company accusations, had an outfit reveal that she currently is going through. And of course, uh, Millie's doing a new outfit reveal right now, but back then it was 15 hours ago that she was doing it. Uh, those terrible numbers for an outfit reveal. I'm interested in seeing super chat numbers on that one. Uh, karaoke's outfit reveals, birthdays, etc. can be expected to get five digits minimum for large talents for female VTubers and Hollow Live and Niji Sanji. Male VTubers and Hollow Stars get a pass because toxic Hollow fans. However, Niji Livers, regardless of gender, should be getting five digits. They should, depending on their size, of course depending on the niche that they've decided to go for. Aya Amari is one of the ones that doesn't get that much because of the niche she's chosen. That isn't her fault. It's just the fact that she chose a niche that uh, hasn't brought her a lot of new people. But for her, for someone like Millie, uh, the size that she is, it was expected that she was actually going to get a lot of people watching. Uh, I checked and Axel Serios got 8,400 CV for his new outfit reveal last month. Granted, it's probably a bit of an outlier. I use Vabby.net which is, doesn't appear to hold stream numbers more than a month. One thing I've noticed is of late is that Holostars EN is having been gaining viewers in general, and they have. Battle's outfit reveal got over 10k. I was there. Peaked to 12k. Hawkins' outfit reveal is 9.2k. Roberus got 5k. Yes, Holostars slowly but steadily growing, which is good for the, the male VTuber side. Continuing with this, 
She ended up getting 3827 CCV, I believe, which is very low. Uh, this is negligible, but this is the CCV that she got. This isn't the total viewers. This is the concurrent viewers that she got, which for a female liver in Idisanji is quite a downward turn. Idisanji only retweet Maria's outfit reveal on Twitter. Interesting you think they'd retweet the outfit reveal of someone who has been defending them so hard all this time. Must be negligible. I feel the lepers ate my face moment. Remember when she said she was treated well and she isn't the top earner? I first noticed that the reveal was yesterday for me. I figured it would be a week out. I didn't realize it would be less than 24 hours. Between this and the unnecessary target they painted on her back, on her with the black stream. I hope she can start seeing the love bombing from Niji for what it is and that the scales fall fall in her eyes. Basically, hopefully, people these people are hoping that she moves on. She probably won't because she seems to really like Niji Sanji, and that is her right. Remember, everyone has a right to have differing opinions. Everyone has a right to uh, their own opinion when it comes to their company that they work for, even if they work for a bad company that everyone else sees as a bad company. They have the right to do that. They have the right to follow that company. Just a quick reminder that Lubikana Shiro did lose uh, 10k subscribers in what they recently did. They, because of all the things that happened with Raziel's, with Raziel's document, they lost 10k subscribers and they don't seem to have gotten it back it's of course negligible i mean 10k is a lot but it's also a bit less than one percent for them so for him it may not be a lot for him it's a negligible thing possibly very possible uh when gerard the completionist which i spoke about before uh saw the situation implode he lost 50k subs which was like three percent doesn't matter because most subs are inactive the actual important number was the usual videos would hit 200k views regularly after they float somewhere around 50k his views dropped 70 75 percent that's what matters the views versus the sub count. If your views drop considerably, then there's an issue, especially for a large Nizi Sanji liver like this. And April 1st on April Fool's Day is when he lost 5K, 10K subscribers. He um, hasn't seemed to get those back at all during these last couple of days. Not even any positive movement in any way, shape, or form, which is weird from what it looks like. Although this, this thing says 373 daily subs, so we will see where that number move up probably eventually if, uh, if it keeps going with 373 daily subs. Just a small little update on that. Thanks to each and every one of you. Mint is now at 150k subs. I just wanted to let you guys know that that you guys um, be aware of this. Mint got 100k before her karaoke re-debut re stream, and she gained another 50k. Boss is on her way to take back all that she has lost. This is with Mint being low-key AF about everything. It's as if Matara's promoting Mint harder than the boss has been for herself. Imagine if she unleashed her true power, and it's all Minto now. Mint over for Kurosanji if she did that. Even if she leaves after her podcast is done, she still made her mark on everything. Metal Gear Solid, Mint got subscribers. Uh, the Phantom Pain, the Phantom Pain. Yes, they, they've been doing a lot of this stuff recently. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on that. Hopefully, the poem remains, gains some self-confidence. I hope she does in this situation from this and see she don't need Kurosanji to be successful and that the fandom will stand by her as long as she keeps producing good content. Her subs will hopefully keep rising. And that is my hope, that they keep rising. If you guys help, of course, she will keep rising. On some different VTuber news, Hololive ID is celebrating their fourth anniversary, Indonesia. They are giving new outfits to the first gen and multiple activities during the whole week as a branch. This is what you get when you invest in your talents. You get the benefit because, yes, the initial investment can be hard. Yes, the initial investment can cost a lot for a company, can cost millions for a company of yen. But you get happy talents, which creates a happy community, a happy fan base. And that, that in and of itself will make sure that people have fun and people, you know, start spending more money. Because now that you have new outfits, you can have new merch. So that helps if done correctly. Let's watch. The first generation, in April 2024, they're going to be having their stuff. As I said before, Ayunda Risu has a new one. Muna Hoshinova is having a new one. Airani Yo 15. Some of the people who have, have been forgotten, honestly, in the EO15 is someone who was forgotten amongst a lot of them because she's mainly just an artist. Uh, she doesn't, she's not as out there from what I've seen. I love a lot of people who love her and I love her just for being herself. She's amazing the way she is. And of course, I support the fact that they're doing this for their talents. It says, meanwhile, Nidhi Sanji, non-profitable livers do not exist. Man, I feel bad for the rest of XID that's still in Nidhi Sanji. Uh, and please kindly read. You don't need to copy paste it literally every post, you know. Basically, someone putting the uh, information of, I believe, uh, Nidhi Sanji ID stuff. This is the stuff where men focus on discussion of Nidhi Sanji, Nidhi Sanji livers. This is basically what's going to happen. But um, this Hololive thing it is still talking about Nidhi Sanji. Uh, some people were freaking out about, you know, 
the Kurosanji is going to be staying as Nidhi Sanji and anything else that has to do with it, anything separate is going to be bad. But no, this is basically also being a uh, kind of a marker on Nidhi Sanji mentioning, look, this is what happens when you treat your livers well. This is what happens when you keep a branch, you know, even though at the beginning it may not be making a lot of money. Because I don't think I don't think ID was making a huge amounts of money, but Hollow Life saw the longer game, the longer picture, and that's what they went for. They went for the longer picture. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting down below. Comment if you want, as well as look at my socials. My Discord server is a nice, comfy place for people to chill and chat and everything like that. Just you know, verify and do the regular stuff that you have to do with with Discord servers that are under safe mode. Also. Take a look at all my other socials and something on the screen that will be here for you so you could possibly enjoy something more. Thank you. Bye-bye.